All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project Sound Psycho again with you today. And in this one, we are going to be going over one of the classics, the second part of South Park. The second game that was released, um, South Park, The Fractured Love Hole, um, back in 2017. Um, it is a continuation, or we can also call it a standalone installation, to the first part, The Stick of Truth. And is a role-playing video game viewed from a viewed from the side, so from a 2.5 or 3D perspective, something like that. I'm not sure what um, how exactly would you call it, but again, you're playing as the new kid um, dropped into the world of South Park, and you are gonna be solving some problems there yet again. And um, as far as the story and everything goes, um gonna try and not to spoil it too much for you, just because it's South Park and it's amazing, and you should play it just because it's a classic. It's really a a game that, if you're a South Park fan, and a fan of, how shall we call it, dark humor? Or, I mean, it's specific humor. It's a thing that you pretty much, I don't know, you laugh at if you're a I don't know, bad person. <laughs> it's just hilarious um, from time to time. So, um, as far as the gameplay goes and kind of a bit of a story, um, it's based on superheroes. So, it is a kind of JRPG styled game with all of the South Park heroes, the characters that you know, um, playing as the good guys. Or bad guys, technically. Um, there are some switcheroos and some plot twists um, during the game, which I will not try to spoil for you. Um, but the main part is you are playing as the new kid. Um, the new kid on the block, you can create your own character, modify your playstyle, choose a class from, I think there's like three or six different, I don't know. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, but there are a lot of options that you can go through, and even the classes themselves and the powers that you get are hilarious. They really hit the nail on the head with this one. Um, it's a great continuation to the Stick of Truth. It's something that you pretty much want to play if you have played the Stick of Truth, and if you are a South Park fan. Um, there is some free exploration um, in the game that you can go through. Um, do some side quests, or just continue on with the main story to pretty much complete the game. Um, you can fight different enemies throughout the world and throughout your quests, defeat bosses, level up, get new powers. Everything a classic JRPG would be, would feature, pretty much. Um, but the main part is, it is put into the world of South Park, which is as you know, a very specific world for humor and stories. They also released a DLC, or two, I think there were two, um, to pretty much extend the game, um, which gives you an additional couple hours to play the game, and it's amazing. It pretty much continues the story and gives you another perspective on it and makes it even better if you liked the original story. Um, as far as the graphics go and everything, as you can see, classic South Park style. Um, everything is, like, really cool. It runs really smoothly, which is amazing. And it does not require a beast of computer to play. So, um, if you are a South Park fan, a fan of these games, or the series, if you have played The Sick of Truth and liked it, this is gonna be for you. This is gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, there we go, there are eight classes. Two, four, six, eight, yes. There are eight classes of which you can pick two to get different powers, and I think you're gonna actually switch them um, during your gameplay. So you are not bound to the classes that you pick from the start, which is amazing. There are a ton of possibilities on how you want to play, how you want to build your team, um, what's going to come in handy for one part of the state, one part of the story, what's going to come in handy from a different, for a different part of the story. It is just simply a great RPG. It is a JRPG, so you don't have much of a, I mean, real-time control, 
but it is made on timers, so it's, I mean, you do have some type of control, and you can pretty much point at what your characters are going to do. So yeah, I'm going to recommend this game, this game to all of you South Park fans, all of you JRPG fans. Um, as you know, the story is amazing, the gameplay is really cool, there is a lot of variety, and the game itself is quite long, so... It's going to take you some time to get through it, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, you're going to be immersed in it from the minute that you start. If you like it, you're just going to fall into it and just go through it. Maybe maybe faster, maybe slower, but it's going to be an amazing, an amazing experience. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the videos, and I will be joining you in the next one.